This new plugin Shaper Table by Kilohertz is my new favorite way to distort, both as a standalone plugin and within Faceplant. At its core, it's a wave shaper. But what makes it unique is the fact that you can actually use wave tables as the shape, allowing you to get insane sounds. And morph between them. What I like about it is it's super easy to use, but sounds really good. There's just a few parameters, but it sounds great. So let's hop over to phase plant for a breakdown. I'm just gonna show you everything on a sine wave, but again, you can start to imagine when you use this on already complex sounds. So first the drive is like any other distortions, the input drive, the higher the drive, the more it distorts. But this will also be affected by the overflow mode. So for example, mirror, it starts to mirror the shape while repeat just repeats it over and over. You can see this chopped off sine wave repeating as an upward saw. Or saw-like shape. And hold not repeating. So that alone is really gonna affect things. You know, this is a basic shape here, but if we went to a more complex shape, Like, listen to that. That gets so screechy, and then if we try another one. You can like keep going up and up and up. So let's move that drive a little. But let's also change this wave shape. This table may not have had the best movement. Let's pick another table. Well, I like that. You know what? Let's save that as like the first movement. Let's add another. Cool, cool, that gets a bit crunchier. So if we change the phase, it's obviously gonna offset the phase of the cycle, which really affects the sound. So you can kind of like line up how the phases work to get drastically different results. Like 140 there was. Had a different sound. And the bias is going to offset this to the left or the right. Which changes things. I find you can get a nice buzzy texture out of it. Now smooth is nice, where if we're using a different type of table, say this one here, it can smooth it out so you're not getting as much harmonics. You can automate it from an inverted position to kind of get a filter shape. And then beyond that, there's just a DC filter, which will filter the DC offset that gets introduced. If we hop back to our original one here, you'll see depending on the DC filter, that can have an impact on the final result. So it may not always be obvious. I like to just use my ears really for that. And there we go. That's the new Shaper Table by Kilohertz. I really like it. It's easy to use. Sounds great. Go check it out. Shaper Table.